Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, Just Angel. Today I'm gonna to be cooking for you guys a chicken and Cajun pasta. I have a half pound of chicken breast, my bell peppers, my onions, and the garlic we're gonna use, and the seasonings. The seasonings I'll put in the description down below. So now I've already added my penne pasta to the water, and now I'm gonna add a tablespoon and a half of butter to my pan. And with that, I'll add the chicken breast. Okay. You wanna move them around, just separate them. So they're not stuck together. Okay. I had my fire on low. I'm gonna take it up to medium high. And so now you want to add your seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle it over. Sprinkle it over. And I'm just gonna flip and just mix it in together. Another reason why I'm doing this, this way, I like to do it because I don't want my chicken to be hard. Because if you overcook them, then your pasta, to me, is a waste. You don't want to see the pink in them anymore. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna go over and get my bell pepper, I'm gonna add my onions, stir, and your bell pepper. You wanna make sure that your onions, bell peppers get into the butter. So it can soften them up so you won't have hard vegetables. Okay, now I'm gonna add my garlic. Final open spot. Put it in there. I have all the measurements down below. Okay, so while this is cooking low, I'm gonna go and tend to my noodles. You don't want them to cook. You want them to be al dente. So it's not all the way cooked and it's not hard. It's just in between. And the way I tell, I'm old school. I usually get one. Either I'm gonna pinch it or I'll taste it. And that's good. I'll drain these. So here's the chicken. It's really juicy. It's really, really juicy. And all the juices that are in here, it's gonna be real good for the pasta later. So right now I'm gonna make the sauce for the pasta. I melted a half a stick of butter. Let me turn my heat up. So they get all nice and brown, and once it reaches a brown color, that's really good. It's gonna take for the garlic I'm gonna put in really, really well. So now I'm just gonna add half a tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna cook it in there. You want it to get all nice and toasty, and careful not to burn it. Because if you burn it, you will have to start over. If not start over, you decide to keep going, it's gonna give you a bitter taste. So once you smell the garlic and it smells so good, you kind of know when your, your cutoff time is. So now I'm gonna add to that um, heavy whooping cream. Pour it on in. Mix, mix. Mix. I like for my pasta to be really creamy, so I'm gonna use the entire carton of this. Okay, I'm gonna turn my heat up a little. Okay, you're gonna allow that to cook once it creates the bubbling for it. Then I'll add my Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna let that start to boil and add on. Okay, so now that's at the stage I want, it's bubbling. I'm gonna go ahead and add my Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna stir it in. Okay. Okay. So it's gonna bubble. I'm gonna let that Parmesan cheese cook on down in there. There it is. 
And then I'm going to season my sauce with this Tony Saturn Creole seasoning. It looks like this, it's a lot, it's really not. You stir, stir it. Now I'm gonna add my pasta. Okay. Add your pasta. Let it cook all together. I'm gonna add my chicken. And then I'll do half a can of the diced tomatoes. And you just mix it like you did everything else. At this point, you can taste it to see if you want to add more seasoning. So I'll let this cook down for about like 10 minutes and it'll be ready to serve. Okay, so I'm back. I'm just gonna do my final mix through. And it looks really good, it smells so good, you guys. I'm gonna plate it and I'm gonna see how this turned out. Do a little taste test. Be really careful, this is extremely hot. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna garnish chest with um, your parsley flakes. Don't go crazy. But you just do a little sprinkle. It's not gonna do anything for taste, it's just gonna enhance color and voila, it's a paprika. Okay, now let's see how this tastes. Mm. Just finished. This is delicious. I'm not bragging on myself, but I can do my thing in the kitchen. This is really good, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'm done, you guys. It tastes really, really, really good. I hope you guys try this recipe. It's really simple. It's easy. You can do it within 30 minutes, and that's the best thing about it. All the ingredients will be down below in the description box. Thanks again for coming to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.